This summer, two heroes set out on an epic virtual road trip across America. After 13 exciting weeks, <laughs> They've reached their final destination. Star, Max Widow as himself. Jamel 1-5 as Jay Love. And Matt Lewis as the celebrity fan. This is Los Angeles, California. It ends here. Yes, that's right. We're in the land of Hollywood, Venice Beach, celebrities, and of course, the baseball teams, the World Series champion, LA Dodgers, and the LA Angels. And such good food. I think you can already tell, we love LA. Dodgers have won it all in 2020. That time is for the record. Career home run number 300 for Mike Trout. The last episode of the series, we thought we'd get someone special to give us the lowdown on the City of Angels. Yes, and we have delivered. We are very excited to say joining us now is Dodgers second baseman and rising star, Ooh. Gavin Lux. Gavin, welcome to the Bases Covered virtual road trip. How are you doing today? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pumped up. I'm pumped up. How about you? Look, we're decked out in our Dodgers gear. We're, we're ready I was, to go. I was, I was just about to say, I like the I like the <laughs> uniform. Now, Gavin, could you give us some tips on where to go and things to do in LA for when me and Max come to visit? Man, I love going to the beach. Uh, like, I love playing catch on the beach in the off season, uh, doing like some sprint stuff on the beach. What up? Am I ruining your Zoom call? <laughs> he's, he's flipping me off and stuff, and you guys are asking me questions. I don't need recognition. I'm on a mission. Yeah. I'm paying dues. Yeah. I'm in position. I'm staying up. It's getting late. You're doing good. I'm doing great. Just a big old distraction. That looked like Cody. Who was that? Yeah, it was Cody. Ask Cody. We're, we're, both, we're at Venice Beach right now. Who's winning the weights off? Who's lifting more weights between me and him? Oh, yes, yeah, yes. come on. Me and, me and him? Cody. I've been in two months. <laughs> he said he hasn't picked up a weight in two months. <laughs> Easy so, win for you then, bro. Tired. He said he's tired. He hasn't, I, would, I would definitely, if we went to Venice Beach, I would dominate him in the weight room, though. What? Yeah. I would, I would. Well, speaking of that, Gavin, this is making me feel old because I'm actually a Dodgers fan. My first game was 2004. Your first MLB hit was 2019, and it came in your first ever at bat. What was that feeling like? 16 and making his major league debut. No, it was super surreal. I, my whole family was there, my mom, dad. You know, they made a lot of sacrifices for me. So to be able to get there and then have them there and be able to do it in front of them, kind of like what every kid dreams of if you play baseball growing up. It's amazing. What do you think was the Dodgers' play of the season? Cody Bellinger's robbed home run literally, what, four days ago? That was, <laughs> I was on top of the dugout, like the railing, standing on top of the railing with my hands up. That was, it was unbelievable. That, that for me is, I mean, same thing, same the game. So I think that, yeah, that was a sick play. That was unreal. Okay, now Mookie Betts is one of the stars of the league and has made some incredible plays this season. Now, what's he like to have on your team? Yeah, he's a he's a team leader. He just made sign a three hundred and whatever million dollar contract, and he's out there before everybody else, taking ground balls, getting his work in. So uh, he kind of sets that example and sets that tone for everybody else. Right, Gavin, you seem like a nice guy. Let's say it's twenty twenty one. You've invited us to a game against the Padres in the best seats in the house. You hit a grand slam home run, and by the way, thank you for those tickets. How are we celebrating in LA, just the three of us, after that game winner? I'm a pretty low-key guy, honestly. So if you guys are in on pizzas after after a walk-off win, I'm in. What's All the right? go-to topping? Pepperoni. If you think pineapple belongs on pizza, you're a liar. Ooh. You're a good Ooh. man, Gavin. You're a good man. <laughs> I knew I liked you. I knew I liked you. <laughs> there's no Hawaiian pizzas on this side. Not on this show. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. I was getting worried. But Gavin. Thank you so much for joining us, all right, man? It's been an absolute pleasure. Good luck for the 2021 season and beyond. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, thanks for having me. This was a lot of fun. Absolutely amazing. Gavin Lux and Cody Bellinger, two stars for the price of one. 
But, and I can't believe I'm saying this, we've got a third star on the way. For this week's celebrity fan, we've gone all out with a massive name befitting of Los Angeles and the final episode of the series. Yes, consider it a gift from us here at Bases Covered, sent from Hollywood. And we give good gifts. You've seen him in our intro, you saw him in Harry Potter, and now it's time to see him in his biggest show ever as our celebrity fan. It's Matthew Lewis! Matt, hello and welcome to the Bases Covered Virtual Road Trip. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you, mate. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very, very good. You'd think this would be the norm for us because we're on a US road trip, but you're actually the first guest we've had who's in America. So you've got to tell us what you're up to over there. <laughs> um, very little, to be honest with you. I mean, Florida's open now. We're all allowed to do whatever the heck we want, but we're just trying to, you know, my wife and I are trying to be as smart as possible. Now, having lived and worked in America, you must have had some exposure to baseball. I was gonna, I was gonna tell you this this story about um, when I was in New York and Derek Jeter got his three thousandth hit and I was in a bar and and I was gonna tell you that as if that was my first experience, but then I, I remembered I actually threw the the first pitch at a Seattle Mariners game. Oh, you're forgetting your first. Whatever your head. <laughs> you know when we went out, I was so nervous. I literally closed my eyes and just threw the bloody thing, and it went straight. It went straight into the catcher's glove, and I was like that noise of, of ball hitting the mitt. Yeah. I've never been more happy to hear that sound. <laughs> in my entire life. So you're here because we're recruiting you as an LA Dodgers fan, all right? But we've seen that you've been in the dugout on your Instagram. Are you already a fan, man? Yeah, I am. Yeah. So um, as I said, I, I, I was in LA for the for the World Series, and the whole city was just going mad for that for it that week, and we got absolutely hooked on it. We actually went to a BAFTA Awards uh, party, and we I don't want to say it was boring. But we all, we left the room and we went and sat in the hotel bar to watch the Dodgers. No way. Um, and we were out there for the whole, just, just, just in dinner suits. I've actually probably got a picture of it somewhere, just in dinner suits watching the baseball in this bar. <laughs> And uh, so that was that was kind of my real, real first experience of it. And obviously we lost that, which was which was rubbish. But once that once once I got through that, I was I was hooked. I've always said it, Matt. Baseball over Baftas. That's been my mantra <laughs> since day one. <laughs> since day one, mate. Now, as we're filming this, the World Series is tied at one-one. Some fans are allowed in the stadium. Matt, have you tried to get tickets? No, I haven't tried, you know. I just assume that Dodgers have so many international global superstar fans that I'm not even, I, I can't take that kind of rejection. I just won't even ask. <laughs> I, I just it. watch I it at home. <laughs> oh, Matt, so we can't go to LA without, of course, mentioning the Dodgers rival, the LA Angels. They have the superstar himself, Mike Trout. Who would you rather go for a beer with, though? Trout or Mookie Betts? Oh, Betts, 100%. I remember when we, we when we traded him at the start of the season, my mate who's a Red Sox fan texted me saying, you can thank me later for the World Series. Um, <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and also, yeah. like the players he's been pulling out are insane, and uh, I like his celebrations. Thinking back to your Harry Potter days, which of the lead trio would most likely hit a home run? It's a bit naff, but I mean, Harry Potter is the main one, isn't he? He's probably the one who's hitting the winning home run. <laughs> I reckon Hermione would just do it. Her Hermione's a pitcher. <laughs> is that something we don't know about yet? That, is that her secret? <laughs> <laughs> I would love that if, she, if Emma Watson was secretly an all-star baseball pitcher. <laughs> Matt, as a baseball fan and an actor, you must be a fan of baseball films. Do you have any favourites? So this is a, this is an interesting thing because baseball itself is so intrinsically linked in American culture and so obviously not in, in, in British culture. However, when I moved here and met my wife, the concept of me not seeing some of these films was mind-blowing to her. There's this film called Sandlot and she could not believe that I hadn't seen this. <laughs> to the point of that when we'd go somewhere, one of the first things she'd say was like, so this is Matt, guess what, he hasn't seen Sandlot. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, Matt, let me tell you something, alright? You're now going to audition for the position of coach in the basis covered movie. Are oh. you ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's all in! Just to set the scene for Matt and our viewers, Jamel and I play for the Dodgers, naturally. We're in a big game and we're about to bat. Matt's the coach. This is Bases Covered, the movie. We're 2 0 down in the bottom of the ninth. It looks like it's up to me and you, Max. Man, I'm so nervous. I wish Coach Matt was here. He'd know what to say. Oh, look, here he is now. Hi, guys. Coach Matt, remember that time you said you had an amazing, 
inspirational speech ready for a moment like this. Of course, I know it word for word. I gotta cover my mouth so the cameras don't pick up what I'm saying. All right, guys, bottom of the ninth. We gotta pull this right back home. We got all these fans out there trying to see us win this game. This is America's game and we gotta win it. We gotta win it for America. And of course, for Los Angeles, for the Dodgers. We gotta do this, guys. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go out there and strike out or are you gonna go out there and hit it out of the park? Okay, let's do this. Let's go. Incredible. BAFTA worthy, I would say. Maybe Oscar worthy as well. <laughs> Off the top of your head, amazing. You should be an actor, you know? I, I'll, I'll look into it. Well, Matt, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you, and I've got to say, really cool to hear how much passion you have for the game and for the Dodgers, so thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having us. Guys, look out for the trailer. Bases covered the movie starring our very own Matt Lewis. It's coming soon, for sure. There's an Oscar out there with his name on it, but do you know who else deserves an Oscar? This guy over here with his World Series special. Whoa. Guys, it's the quick pitch. Roberts. And it's right three. Dodgers have won it all in 2020. Yes, the Los Angeles Dodgers are the 2020 World Series champions, ending a 32-year wait for their seventh title in franchise history. A 3-1 victory in Game 6 clinched it, and wouldn't you know, Mookie Betts was the game changer. Here's a play at the plate, throw home too late, Dodgers lead, Betts scores. So Mookie was Mookie, but what about the magnificent seven? The Dodgers used seven pitchers in their deciding game, and between them, they struck out 16 batters. Unhittable. Two pitch, struck him out, and Gonzalez strikes out the side. Corey Seager was named the MVP of the World Series, making him just the eighth player ever to win the award in both the League Championship Series and World Series during the same postseason. What a performance. Well, the way Corey Seager is running hot this postseason, it's really tough to keep him down for too long. The Rays fall just short then, but our moment of the series has to be Brett Phillips' walk-off hit in Game 4. Randy Rosarina came barreling around third base with a hop, skip and a fall before sliding in for the winning run. Feast your eyes on this angle. Jansen, that is in the center field. Here comes Kiermaier. Phillips has tied the game. A Rosarina coming around. Throw home, now he stumbles. But the ball gets away. Tampa Bay wins it. After this World Series, the history books have been rewritten. Clayton Kershaw finally got his ring and now has more career strikeouts in the postseason than any other pitcher, while Randy Arozarena has himself the most hits and home runs of any player in a single postseason. And there, the future Hall of Famer's got a ring. And he's got another and the all-time record for home runs in a single postseason. What an incredible back and forth World Series we had and so fitting that we end our virtual road trip in the City of Champions. Now the baseball season is over and Cody Bellinger isn't happy about that. So why don't we throw it back to something else we know and love, Jamel 1-5. Incoming. Hopefully it's not a murder horn. Max, I'm getting a bit emotional, mate. This is the end of the virtual road trip. It is, but we will be back, Jamel, so perk up for a season three. Who knows? Hopefully, it will be an actual road trip. I hope so too, but don't go anywhere just yet. We've got a treat for you. Check out our MLB 60 Championship epic showdown. It is time, the MLB 60 decider. I've got me to recruits, the bat flips and nerds. I've got the guys from Track Mafia. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes! Let's go! Go, 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 go! Oh! Yeah, she gambles. You know you got to gamble sometimes. They lack quality, they lack finesse, they lack style, they lack charisma. So this should go very well. Go, 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 go! See how they're doing this? They're trying to get to our heads. We're too focused for that. Go, 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 you gotta run, you gotta run, you gotta run! Go on, go on, go on, go on. Just win. Don't worry about crossing the opposition. Oof. Oh, 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 oh. Jamel! Jamel! Yeah, what? Jamel, get, get, get in here, get in here, get in here. Ah, uh, sorry, ah, uh, 
there's a little bit more. My bad. Uh, like all good comedies, we thought we'd leave you something special. Our bloopers. All right? Enjoy. See you. I feel like I might have said Keith McFearthin. Oh. <laughs> Don't know about you, but one sick. What? Give me a sec. I'm rubbing my neck. They see me rolling. All right, take 95. Here we go. Turn on the notification bell so you don't make oh, 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 oh. Turn on the no, no, turn on no, no. It's now for me to tap the little blah 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 blah. Blah 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 I know the line. Base is cover dream team. It's just so god. Oh, they're upside down! They're upside down! <laughs> decent. Decent. Ow. Do it again. Okay, okay. Today we're going to be joined by Jimmy Butler as we Jimmy take a look Butler. at the amazing <laughs> worst thing. I've, this is the worst performance of my life. That was absolutely terrible. Got so many good outtakes though. Bye. Goodbye. So that was quite a scary goodbye.